welcome to Mumbo Jumbo Kids channel. Sleeping Beauty Mo and Joe are coming back from school. On the way, an old woman meets them. Here, try these cherries. They are the best. Oh, I would love to. What are you doing? We don't know her. They are just harmless cherries, Joe. The boy is afraid. I will poison you. He thinks I have some magical powers. No, no. I'm sure he didn't mean that. Well, get ready to be surprised. Both of you are wrong. I wasn't going to poison you. But I do have magical powers. Where are we? What have you done? Calm down, boy. I am not here to harm you. Then why are we here? Look around the palace. Does anyone seem happy here? No. What is wrong? Let me tell you the story of the king and queen of this palace. The king and the queen of this palace are very kind and generous. The entire kingdom loves them. And so, 16 years ago, when the princess was born, they invited the entire kingdom to come and bless her. Except the evil witch. Of course, the evil witch was not happy and appeared at the princess's party. How dare you! You invited everyone except me? As revenge for my humiliation, I curse her. When she turns 16 years old, she will prick her finger on a needle and fall into a sleep that she will never awaken from. The whole kingdom was shocked. Every guest at the party went down on their knees and pleaded with the witch. Forgive me, powerful witch. I made a mistake. Please don't punish our daughter for our mistakes. Please, she is only a child. Don't be so strict with her. Have mercy. All right, all right. I see you have learnt your lesson. I cannot take back my curse. But I can bless your child to ease her suffering. And so, I bless her that she will be awakened from her endless sleep with a true love's kiss. The witch vanished from the kingdom after that and the king ordered all the needles from the kingdom to be removed immediately. He ordered that anyone even seen with a needle would be hung from the tree in the village square. Our daughter is safe now. Nothing will happen to her. And so the years passed till it was the princess's 16th birthday. Do I still have to be escorted by the nanny? Well, how about I tell the nanny to leave you, be by yourself within the palace walls? But you have to promise that you won't step out of the palace without her. Yes, mother, I promise. The princess was delighted and to enjoy her newfound freedom, she started roaming the palace by herself. It was then that she came across a strange door. She had never seen it before and was intrigued by what may lie behind it. So, she pushed it open and entered the room that it led to. Inside, she saw a seamstress sitting by a strange wheel, spinning thread from cotton. Hello, what are you doing here? I'm making thread from cotton over the spindle. Oh, may I see it? Yes, come closer. The princess went closer to touch the spindle, but the seamstress tricked her so that her finger would touch the needle instead. Immediately, the princess was pricked by it. Just as that happened, the seamstress turned into the evil witch. A curse cannot be escaped even if you try. The poor princess fell into a deep sleep and the witch vanished into the air. 
When the king and the queen came to know about what had happened, they were heartbroken. The princess was brought to her room and laid on a bed. Is the princess still asleep? Where is she? She sleeps on her bed in a sleep that can't be broken except with a true love's kiss. But the princess never met a charming prince to fall in love with him and he with her. She may never awaken. Can we go see her? Yes, come with me. Our neighboring king and his queen have sent their son to convey their regards. Your Majesty, my parents are deeply troubled by your grief. My mother has asked if there is anything she can do for you in this hour of trouble. She is so beautiful. I feel like she is the one I have been waiting for all my life. Who are you? I have been dreaming about you. My child, you are all right. Did you just see that? She found her true love. Well, wasn't that beautiful? But sadly, it is time for you to go now. I cannot keep you here for longer. Perhaps I will come back another day, but right now you must go back to where you came from. I can't believe what just happened to us. I agree, I can't either. Let's just go home and forget about it. Hi, I'm Mo. For more videos, subscribe to us 